really, really effective at uh, suppressing infantry, especially when you have to, uh, two of them. Boom! Those engineers just smashed right into a mine, but also damaged the storms. Well, I'm not even sure who hit whose mine there, but I'm pretty sure that was uh, that was an Axis mine. And the storms just aren't having a very fun time at all. We just keep them running into the mines all over the place. More artillery. I think uh, they did a bit of damage that one of those stokes, but other than that, it's just the tur church taking the flak in the most literal sense. More Neville fire. I don't think... No, it looks like he's, he's firing off over here somewhere. Yeah, he's going after the AT guns, but they yeah, managed to move just in time. Loads of scatter there. Cool. Just why he wasn't in that building. That probably would have been an insta-building crit. Killing everyone inside. So, failing MG bunkers. Looks like the uh, Vermont player has just gone back to the good old-fashioned uh, wiring off your enemy's base. Which he's going to continue to do so now. But he's got his double snipers moving on, one of which is now double vet with 15 kills. The other one is uh, a nearly fresh one with just three kills. Picks a couple of them off. He's going to want to retreat those guys with double snipers around. And over here on the right, double stugs are just on a little raiding party. As you see, uh, obviously engineers have absolutely horrible suppression values, but uh, they got pretty much instant suppressed by the top gunner there. But they managed to take this right inside VP, which is going to be pretty crucial now in, in holding onto the VPs for the American player. He does have this furthermost sort of uh, northern, northernmost VP over here, but um, he's probably going to lose that fairly shortly, uh, just to a fairly basic flank, because uh, the only anti infantry here is just 130 cal. And when you have uh, cloaking infantry, i.e. storms running around, it can be uh, can be tricky. I think they're being decloaked by the mine there. Boom! He should have noticed that. And uh, they just run into mines after mines after mines. If I was Manchurian candidate right now, I would be raging. And I'd be building much, much more minesweepers. But he's not retreating this time. He is determined to just press on. Press on to Moscow. And uh, those guys, uh, because they have Vet 1, as you can see, they'll get just a little bit of health regeneration, which should uh, perk them up by the time that they get to whatever they want to kill. And SAT gun is massively unprotected and um, his, his support is all the way over here on the right side and they're stuck behind a big wall of barbed wire. The AT gun needs to get back to his support as soon as possible. Back to his uh, snipers there to protect him. AT gun might get picked off though. Double snipers opening up. Boom, this is another what up. Barrage though, this is going to be really painful. Straight onto them, oh, he, he anticipated them moving forward, but actually he probably should have just fired where they were. Or maybe he might have been even at max range there. He's pretty far away. Oh, counter battery. Well, not, not official counter battery, but improvised counter battery. Smacks all around the Nebelwerfer, but he's probably out of effective range now. Yeah, it's, al it's always the third round that hits exactly where you want it to. Not the first or second. There we go, he's well out of danger now. Nice try, but unfortunately he was too quick to mark. Puma now, uh, just to try and handle this mass of, uh, sort of rifles and rangers. And also the AT guns have a pretty nasty time of actually hitting Pumas. And we do have an Axis sniper out as well. He's got two kills already, haven't noticed that. And over here in the north, ooh, we got the Stormtroopers. They're about to grape these guys in the mouth pretty severely. I can just see a bundle going down, boom, straight, point back right, wow, that was fast reactions though. And because he's got, he's actually got the fence in the way, so he might be able to reset up and just hold on to that VP just a little longer, which is what he needs. Although that central VP now is, is actually been decapped, so it's, it's, um, it's stable at the moment, VPs stand as they are. Engineers keep on capping, even though they just keep on running into Pumas and all sorts of nasty things. Rangers are out now, which are a nice counter to Pumas, although still not the best, but they're, they're nice, though. They'll chase them away, especially if they're garrisoned. But as for the Stugs, they're, gonna, they're still going to have a really tough time. Double snipers out. Seemingly random fire. Oh no, he's going down around here. Smacking in around these buildings. Lots of scatter on the Neville. Nearly managed to hit one of those snipers, but um, nope. He's playing a dangerous game, though, grouping those snipers together and moving them around like that. One mine is going to be just absolute... It's just going to give him a horrible, horrible time. Fortunately, though, I, don't, I can't see any Axis mines that have been laid around this area. Probably wouldn't hurt for him to build himself another Neville, though. Because he does definitely have the manpower for it. And he's even got a... Oh, he's saving up for a Tiger. We've unlocked the Tiger now. 
Now that is going to be the perfect counter to Rangers. And here we go. He's, 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 has he got it in? No. No, 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 no. But um, very shortly we're going to be seeing a Tiger. And um, Rangers definitely won't be able to penetrate it reliably from the frontal armor. And um, due to just the absolutely incredible accuracy of the Tiger versus infantry, it's going to be able to pick off this really infantry heavy army to pieces. There aren't an awful lot of counters to Tigers, but 80 guns are one of them. Massed 80 guns. Here we go, we got our first tank out from the Americans. And the Tiger. Tiger ready to blitz, yeah. And we have our uh, Stug out as well. Now, Stugs are a really, really good counter for Shermans. Uh, mainly because um, Shermans aren't fast enough to circle straight for them, and their gun isn't good enough to really penetrate them properly in the frontal armor. Although actually we saw there was a problem of penetration, and ooh, he does have the, the gun upgrade there. He's got what's known as uh, the big dick upgrade. But he's gotten really, really close there. Really, really close, and probably could have been circle straight there by the Sherman. But, no, looks like they're just going to fight it out. But as you can see here, Sherman is going to be at a clear loss, unless he decides to circle straight. And uh, I think we have a Tiger rolling up. It's Vet 2 because of the uh, tank veterans that he's given him. And uh, that's a massive, massive bonus to the Tiger, which is already just you know one of the best infantry killers in the game, if not the best infantry killer in the game. Also, and you just see right there, massive splash damage, like a long-range P4IST with massive penetration. Those are some brave engineers if they think that they can actually do damage to that thing. As you can see, just getting picked off though all over the place. So now that you've seen the Tiger, he's probably going to want to get as many AT guns as possible. Either that or just a shit ton of M10s, because that's all that's going to kill it right now. Especially with all this storm support, AT guns won't have much fun time with uh, with all these storms. Ooh, one! How it's a shot. Knocks out the, uh, knocks out the Pioneer's cap in that field point there. And the storms are roaming around, and... Uh, and not far off from those snipers at all. One of which is, of course, double threat with 17 infantry kills, and one of them as that one with seven infantry kills. Tiger's probably going to want to move back though to the safety of his storms, because storms with uh, oh god, they're going to run into each other. This isn't good. This is definitely not good. He's decloed both of them. He's going to open fire. Is he? Is he? Is he? He's not going. He's not decloed. No, now he's realised. But oh, they managed to get away. But now it's just him versus AT gun, and uh, everyone knows who wins in that scenario. But here comes the support, and it looks like he's called in an off-map combat group. Either that, or he's just built himself a mortar. Yep, he got an M10 as well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reckon that was a off-map combat group he just called in there. Storms are down to just two men, but ooh, run straight into a mine, lose a shit ton of health, but don't die. They're brave, but they're retreating. Here comes Tiger. He doesn't have his storm stormtrooper support anymore, which is really crucial for the Tiger to operate properly. But nevertheless, he's still giving guys left, right, and center. Oh, and even squishing them. Was that a sticky? That must have been a sticky. I think that was a sticky. He's going to try and lay another sticky now. If he can, he's going to try and get one in the rear armor. Because rear armor stickies uh, could result in a uh, immobilized. Ooh, a bounce. Uh, that was a weird misfire on the M10 there. M10 finally manages to get a very heavy penetration on the uh, Tiger there. But one shot from that uh, Tiger shows the M10 where to go. Stoke's going to press on though. He's going to try and get the kill. One shot might be able to do it. No, no crits. Runs straight into a volley of uh, Ranger Fire there as well. This is rage. M10 rage, but he manages to kill it. So much 30 cal fire on things that really you can't penetrate. Tiger's just limping away now. He's got his fair share of kills already. Nine kills already, not doing too bad at all, even though they are mostly just um, rifles and engines. But he needs to get that engine fixed, really. Tigers are slow enough as they are, and uh, they really need their engine to, uh, to operate properly. Down here in the south, we've just got their mortar, and uh, the 30 cal team. Uh, off my combat groups are always nice, but I don't think he got quite what he wanted there. I think he was looking more on the lines of... Uh, of two M10s and an AT gun, something like that, something more AT, AT heavy. Got engineers coming up to cut this uh, northern point now. 
and all of a sudden things aren't looking so great for the Vermont player, or at least things are looking pretty equal. We'll just take a look at the attack map here. He's got his sniper out. Um, he's got that's a that's a pack, I think. No, that's a uh, that's a reclaimed AD gun that you managed to nick and a repair bunker, which is always a good good shout when you when you got all these tanks roaming around. He's got his uh, I think he's still got two stugs. Yep, he's got one just chilling out at the base, which is now going to move up. And he just built himself another Goliath. Ooh, big hits going down near the uh, near the tiger. Axe sniper retreats. Ooh, snipe on retreat. Nasty. Tiger is getting shelled to death, but most uh, most of the time the tiger can tend to pretty much bounce their shells. Ah, uh, not with the AT gun there. He needs to reverse the heck out of there. Another full frontal penetration there. Rangers suppress. The M10 and the Rangers look like they're just getting in position to pounce here. But there's a fair amount of support. Especially with these storms about. These storms are really going to be the uh, the thing that's really going to keep uh, keep the AT guns at bay. And help, uh, help them keep them alive. Oh wow, we got... Um, he just wanted to use his Rangers just to spot now. We got uh, artillery going down right on top of that tiger. Wow, a lot of damage done. More damage done. Oh dear. I don't think it's going to kill the tiger, but it's going to leave it in a position where um, where it's almost dead. Oh wow, it might even be able to kill it, you know. It's got 5% bug. Bouncing a shot. He needs to get the heck out of there. He obviously didn't realize the artillery that just went down on it. M10 could move in right now and finish it off. Probably go up to double that in one go. AT guns moving up. Tyre's limping away with a damaged engine. AT guns trying to move up. He's trying desperately to go up. Always oh, turning his rear armor as well. That's not what he wanted. He's coming around the corner now. He just needs to unpack it. He just needs to get this one last shot off and he's going to kill it. No, he's packing it up again. Oh, God. That Puma needs to be... Oh, he's moving away. He doesn't fancy it. No, the M10's going in for the kill now. Here we go. That's got to be the end of it now. Yeah, it's got to be the end of it. Who's going to get the shot off first? No, he needs to stop turning. Stop turning. Stop turning. Oh, he gets another bounce on the front of the armor. Oh, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, fire, oh god, who's going to win this, who's going to win this? Yeah, the Stug might be able to get the last shot here, might be able to get the last shot, Tiger, turn, 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 get your turret rotated, there we go, oh, incredible that the Tiger actually managed to survive that, that was absolutely incredible, and now the Rangers are just, just, just mopping up now, but that, that Tiger is just hanging on by the skin of his teeth, we got another M10 out now, uh, which will surely, surely be able to kill it. Although, if I was the American player, I'd be just sending a ranger blob of that thing right now. So if you kill a tiger, that's like double that in one go. And here we go, we get a Goliath out. Not exactly AT, but he might be able to finish off the ranger squad, who knows. Ooh, blown up, that's a lot of munitions gone in one go. But now, uh, ooh, tiger managed to get repaired very fast, but I don't know whether he's going to survive. He needs to turn, he needs to turn. He needs to keep on turning, misfire from the M10. Oh, and that, then he gets healed. He's hiding behind. He gets always blocking with the Stug, partially. Stug's gonna get a rear armor hit here. But the M10 got a rear armor hit too. That was odd. Ranger's going in. Like I said, he wants to get the veteran. See, he's surrounded on all sides by AT. M10 gets a rear armor hit. And Shrek's a uh, bazooka's just bouncing on frontal armor. Shrek's do absolutely bugger all to frontal armor. And Tiger turret is just in absolutely the worst place though. He might be able to get the final shot on this. M10, he needs to turn with it though. Turn, 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 and fire. Ooh, he doesn't quite manage it. And he gets a damage engine. Boom, double rear armor hits from the bazookas. I'm telling you, those things absolutely rape face when they hit the rear armor, but they're just horrible from the front. A bounce from the M10 on the stoke there. Uh, absolutely just incredible game. Oh, he might be able to finish it off with artillery though here. This will be something else he might be able to. This is on map artillery. He's trying to fire at the tiger. This is tiger rage to the max.